So just reflecting <clears throat> on our uh, most recent uh, Friday lunchtime webinar, and it was really special. So just three takeaways uh, quickly. The first one, um, I've just underestimated how valuable these are for people. And, you know, people are looking for just a safe space where they can get insights, listen to experts, get access to good content, ask questions. And so I think the more we do these, you know, hopefully it's going to become very useful for people. Uh, we've had uh, Pretoria University, WITS, um, Nelson Mandela Bay, lots of universities in South Africa. And uh, once again, the last one was very well represented. So the first takeaway for me from the last webinar is just, uh, I'm going to keep doing these. Uh, it just sounds amazing. You know, the feedback sounds amazing. In fact, one lady sent me a message um, after the webinar to say, and her first line was, wow, 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 <laughs> all in caps. So I really appreciate the feedback. And then just two other takeouts. One was in the webinar, I asked people just to put some questions and you know, indicate what they were struggling with and where they needed help, etc. And one lady said that she was struggling with uh, procrastination and she had exams coming up uh, next week. And uh, I was interviewing Dr. Jeff Chen and uh, he's got two PhDs and he lectures at a, a business school. So I said to Jeff, I said, come on, Jeff, let's coach Cara right away in this webinar and give her some value to help her with her procrastination. So um, he did a bit of coaching and then I, I also took the opportunity to do some coaching and um, I asked her to burn her boats. And this is a principle that we'd learned in one of the previous webinars about getting, getting things done and overcoming procrastination. So I asked Cara to put on the chat live on the webinar um, how much uh, she was going to study that day straight after the webinar uh, before she went to sleep that night and commit to a certain number of hours. And uh, she did that. And um, I don't know whether she, she got through that number of hours, but uh, you know she was very grateful for it. And I think hopefully everybody else learned from it. So Cara, uh, good luck for your exams next week and I hope you got those uh, hours of studying in. And then the third key takeaway for me from the webinar, when uh, myself and Jeff were just discussing um, his thoughts on postgraduate studies and linking that to the world of work a little bit, uh, which certainly based on the questions is very important for people. So, you know, trying to understand how much value they're going to get in their career from doing postgraduate research and is postgraduate research seen as um, a backup plan if you can't get a job, for example, or do you risk getting overqualified, etc. And uh, Dr. Jeff really provided us with some very good insights about that. And he obviously sees hundreds of MBA graduates coming through uh, the business school every year. So go check out the webinar if you want a little bit more detailed insights there. But um, ultimately, I was encouraged by his thoughts that we will always need, you know, rigorous postgraduate academic level study. And um, it may not be that one thing that lands your promotion, but it certainly will be something that defines you and gives you a lot of depth uh, in what you have to offer and uh, in your field. So go check out the webinar. Uh, with Dr. Jeff, it'll be on the channel and uh, hope to see you in the next one.